There is a lawsuit going on and one that people didn't expect would actually happen. We need to talk about that. We also need to get into people kind of demanding that Jimin go to the ER. And then we also have an event that has been canceled. Say down please is Dave Desai, let's get into it. If you're not aware, Jimin's dad had become a little bit of an entrepreneur now. I don't know if he was an entrepreneur before Jimin's success, but he definitely is one now. He opened a cafe and he became kind of a fan favorite spot. And a lot of people would just go there to either admire Jimin or BTS. They would just go there to chill and relax. So it became this really safe space for the community. Sometimes they would hold events, I believe. I could be a little bit wrong about that, but I believe I remember reading that they held like BTS events and then they definitely would post pictures and congratulations if like Jimin reached a new achievement. So I know things like if it was Jimin's birthday, a lot of people would put flowers or whatever at the cafe and the dad would make a space specifically for that so people could just leave their gifts there it's really beautiful and it's such a great way for the community to feel even more connected to jimin now apparently with the success of the cafe he has decided to open a branch in japan this makes a lot of sense because if he is sort of riding the success of jimin i don't mean that in a negative way but I mean that the cafe was supposed to be a reflection of Jimin in honor of Jimin. Then the next place to open that would make the most sense is Japan. This typically is what K-pop artists do. They do a lot of stuff in Korea and then they go to Japan. Sometimes they go straight to Japan. These are their biggest markets and especially if there's a huge BTS community over there, makes a lot of sense to decide to open a cafe there. Now this is where things get a little bit interesting or controversial as people were confused as to why for the opening of the Japanese branch, Jimin's dad was planning on doing a fan sign event. It was believed that he would be signing things as well as having merch. Now a lot of people found this very strange because it's not necessarily merch from the cafe, but it allegedly seems like it's merch from just like him. And so a lot of people were asking, why is he doing this? Why is there a fan sign? Like, is he supposed to be famous? Now personally, I don't see anything wrong with this because if he host the fan sign and people show up, then he has every right to host another one. If he sells merch and people are buying it and people are enjoying it, perhaps there's even people who are requesting more if things ever get sold out, then he has a right to sell it again. Now, the father did end up canceling the fan sign event and it was believed to be due to personal reasons and those reasons were not ever clarified. But a lot of people were happy about this because they were wondering why he was doing a fan sign to begin with. The bottom line is news sites, this channel, other people have been talking about this fan sign. They have been talking about his cafe for the last several years that his cafe was active. They've also been talking about him as well as there's probably so many people who go into the store and ask Jimin's dad for a photo. So tell me in what way the dad would potentially not feel like he's famous. He would definitely feel like a signature is worth something to people who are going there because people are actually asking for photos. So people do these things. People create these egos, not in a bad way, but just everyone has an ego and they're allowed to have one. And then they expect that people should not use those egos or should not acknowledge the ego. So his event was canceled. A lot of people are speculating that it's canceled due to some of the backlash, but I don't know necessarily if he would do that. I wouldn't put it necessarily past anyone to want to cancel after getting some backlash because they might feel unsafe to do it. And quite frankly, that makes me glad that he did cancel it because I definitely would not want to hear that something happened or even just him feeling unsafe. The community always gets up in arms about feeling unsafe and it kind of sucks that I feel like they don't always share those same sentiments with other people that are outside of their faves. However, I'm glad that they do show that love to their faves. For example, there recently has been this sadness or this concern going around with Jimin after he was recently seen sick. This was on their reality show, Are You Sure? And a little fact for people who are not sure is that Jimin tends to get sick when he travels. It's probably something that happens to his body and it could even be a little bit of a trauma response, right? Because he travels a lot and his body is probably like, oh no, not this again, because touring is very stressful. Apparently after a 14 hour flight, he felt really sick, he had stomach problems, and he was, I think, glued to the toilet, and he ended up getting Pepto-Bismol from JK. Some people even blame JK for the stomach problem, and I thought that was very interesting. However, it's not always his body getting injured. Sometimes it's stuff like he can't really help, but it just so happens those things happen to him. So for example, he got bitten by a mosquito, and it seemed like he also injured his leg, where it seemed like it was burning, or I'm not quite 100% sure what he was referencing when he was talking about something burning. But this goes to show you that he's just accident prone and it's not even just something that he could control or something that his body is doing. 
a lot of people were begging to kind of wrap him up in bubble wrap as to avoid another injury and to avoid him hurting himself more physically. And other people are urging him to go to the ER for certain more bodily things that are causing him pain. I think if he is having issues, he should go seek medical attention. There's no reason if you are in Korea, let's say, to not go to the hospital. Now he's out of Korea, but I'll get into that point a little bit later. But if you are in Korea or any country outside the US, medical care is not that expensive and going to the ER is not really a big deal. You should go. People in Korea go if they have a cold or a flu because they're able to get treatment really fast. Now as far as Jimin or any of the BTS members, it makes no sense for them to not go. As one, they would have those resources available to them at their label who would be able to give them advice and give them medicine and whatever. Second of all, their medical insurance probably covers everything or if it doesn't, it's not like money is an issue for them. So there should be no reason why someone should be injured and then not healed for a very long time, especially if that person is part of a group called BTS because they have more than enough money to get insurance or medical attention wherever they go, especially since they are probably going to be collecting a decent sum of money after the recent lawsuit. They'll definitely have enough money for any medical thing that they'll need. Not too long ago, there was a YouTuber who was in the talks of being sued. So it wasn't official, it wasn't finalized yet, I don't think, but someone had sent one of their videos to V and then V mentioned that he would take legal action as he felt like some of the stuff that was being said warranted that. This alleged channel, as some of you might remember, it's called Sojang and they were very mean about what they said. Some of the things and accusations that they made up came from a baseless place and they were just trying to make it up and they were usually the first person to say it and to come to those at conclusions and they didn't come from a place where it seemed like this person cared about the BTS members or cared about K-pop groups or specific members. It seemed like it was coming from a place of hate which is where the lawsuit can then come in because with any lawsuit you have to prove malicious intent, you have to prove that this person clearly hates the person that they're talking about and is trying to defame them. So that's one of the anchors that you need to beat to sue for defamation. Now it seems like both JK and V have gone ahead and allegedly taken legal action. That has been the recent headlines. So I believe how it works is they were probably asked by the legal team at their label. They probably said sure, they would like to go ahead and do it. And it seemed like the lawsuit has now commenced. So I would find it hard to believe if this YouTuber didn't end up calling for bankruptcy because just from the legal action that JK and V are taking, it seems like it's over 66,000 US dollars. And that's not including the fact that she has other lawsuits pending with other artists. So I can't imagine her getting out of this without calling some sort of bankruptcy. Now after this, some people have been a little bit concerned over JK and his safety in the military, as they are wondering if this YouTuber would come after them as this is such a large sum of money. And I would say that if this YouTuber ends up calling for bankruptcy, this would probably be her best option because this is counting like the legal fees that she would have to pay and so there's a lot of stuff going on. She's definitely probably not feeling great right now and I don't exactly know what the laws are in Korea surrounding this. But if she were to call bankruptcy in the US, they can be a little bit more lenient about paying that money back. However, she would never be able to buy a house or use their credit in any way because it would be completely terrible. But I know in Korea, I don't think they use credit, so I don't know exactly what bankruptcy would even do. But I don't think that she's going to end up coming after the boys as that would then actually put her in jail and make her situation much worse. And good luck breaking into the military to even try to do something like that. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this little bit comment right here. Love you. Bye.